Hey guys, um, I thought I looked kind of cute today, and I thought maybe I would try recording my face, but now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I don't think so, but, um, sure, why not? So, I'm going to ink this initial B that I drew a couple days ago and talk to you guys about inking and some of my favorite inking supplies and stuff like that. So hi for those of you who have never met me at a con before. This is what I look like when I work from my studio, um, which is just a bedroom in my apartment. So today I'm inking with the Sailor Mitsuo Ida. Whoa, okay, that way. <laughs> which is a brush pin from Japan that has two tips. It's got, boop, 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 there we go, a large, aha, draw all over my face, a large brush tip, and boop, 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 a small brush tip, also drawing all over my face. Maybe I'll eat it, ah, no. Um, and it's one of my favorites because it is Copic marker proof and it's waterproof, and it's got two tips, so you can do large, fit, oh, wrong side, you can do large, large fills or larger line work with the big tip and smaller details with the smaller tip and oh, my pencil's on the floor got it oh that um gray grooming lump you see in the background is my cat Bowie he's the one who causes all the problems in my apartment hey Bo hey Bo what a bee what's going on now he thinks I want him over here. Hey, he's not allowed on my drafting table, and I haven't caught him on my drafting table yet. So hopefully you guys are not going to see any cameo appearances. Sorry. It's like the law that you have to talk baby talk when you're talking to a cat, right? Um, so the pen I just showed you, the Sailor Mitsuo Ida, is a Fude pen, and that is used typically for calligraphy or for signing your name in Japan, but a lot of comic artists have started to realize that it's also really great for inking. And I've been using one, um, and a brush for about, gosh, I want to say four years now. It's been a long time, and I think they're great. And, um, I think you guys should give them a shot, especially if you're still inking with, um, let me see. If I have a tech pen yeah if you are inking still with a technical pen like this I really really think you ought to try the Mitsuo Ida and the only place that I can think of and I've tried finding other places um, the only place I can think of that sells the Mitsuo Ida is jet pens actually now that I look at this I'm like I didn't want to ink this in black I wanted to ink this in colored ink Oh my gosh, but I hate, I hate my, my current trend of like taking risks on my channel and it looking like poop. So I'm torn. It would look a lot better if I did it in, co in a colored ink, but I might lose the line art and I don't know if I would be able to erase all the pencil. Well, dude, hey, quit that. Sorry. He's not allowed in that bathroom, and he's going to try popping that door while I'm busy. So I'm just tightening up my line art right now. I drew it last night. I was feeling kind of upset, and I thought it would be nice to do something for me. And yet I'm recording it, right? Okay, so while I was up, I took the liberty of grabbing my brush, as well as some inks. And these are water-based inks, so that means when I do watercolor on top of them, they are gonna become reactivated, but hopefully they aren't going to be so re <laughs> they're not going to become so reactivated that you can't see the line art anymore. But that is a possibility, so I could end up regretting this. Or I might just end up coloring the whole thing with those inks. We'll see, right? Like, I always seem to go into these things with an idea, and then as soon as I turn the camera on, I'm like, nah, I'm 
to do something else. So since they're daisies, I'm grabbing yellow, green, and blue, and I'm going to put these away, way away, on top of my scanner, because, you know. And if I jump up and pause the video again, I apologize. That is my cat. So I'm shaking up my green ink, which is Winsor Newton ink in emerald. I bought like the full color set, a oh, many, several, a few, a handful of years ago. Um, I remember it being kind of a rich green, so we'll find out. Ooh. It's got kind of an alcohol -y smell to it. Mm, my brush is starting to look beaten up too, even though I have conditioned it. Oh, it's so light. It is so light when applied like this. I guess this is like concentrated watercolors. Not, not the ink, but how I am handling it. I need to switch out my, my brush for a better one. Hopefully, I can erase the pencil so it's not super distracting. We'll find out. And I guess I can turn the video off because, I mean, for my face, because you guys don't need that, so. It's good seeing you. Bye. And I'll just continue over here. I don't really know what I thought I was going to accomplish with that, other than I wanted you guys to see I'm a real human person. So if you're not using a brush that's beaten up and chewed up like I am, these are this is a fun ink to ink with. It really looks a lot like watercolor. I'm hoping my uh, let me zoom in. Okay, I'm hoping my uh, if I do introduce watercolor, which I probably won't. Now that I've started doing this. Um, if I wanted a little more permanent solution with the additional water, you can use a dip pen, like a nib pen, but I really, I really hate those. And I thought doing um, a letter this size would just be like the worst thing with a dip pen. And I'm going to try to do as much of the green as I can. I know I'm going to have to go back after I've drawn in the flower petals, which I will probably only outline with blue since the blue is probably a pretty intense blue. This emerald green is a lot more, a lot less saturated than I thought, than I remember it being. But I also think the last time I used it was with a dip pen. This is a lot more like painting than it is like inking. But that's cool, it's kind of relaxing. And I think I might even go back in after and darken some of the colors. And to do that, I'm just going to apply another layer when it dries. So 
so these eggs are cool and I haven't used them nearly as much as I should because they're not waterproof um, but if you use them regularly and I'm betting you probably use them mostly for calligraphy uh, I would love for you to link me because I would love to see it I want to see what other people are doing with these inks I could always do with more inspiration. I mean, who who couldn't do with more inspiration, right? I mean, maybe that's why you're watching this video, is you were like, ah, oh, that's something a little bit, a little bit different. I'm sorry I changed my mind on you. You know, when I first set it up, I was like, I'm gonna do Copics, and then I was like, mm, Copics take up a lot of space. And having, oh no, having the face cam going was taking a lot of space. I shouldn't have added that. That looks not good. I really, when I'm stressed out or I'm upset or sad, I really like doing floral stuff because it's very relaxing. Okay, so that's the first layer of green done. Let me pull out. There you go. Ready? It's looking pretty cool. Pencil isn't as noticeable as I'd feared. So let's get that blue shaky shaky. And let's see how bad that's, how dark that's gonna be. That's plain old blue, not sky blue, not blue green. All right. Kind of a bluey gray. It has seriously replaced this brush time because it does not want to form a point. I think I wrecked it when I was uh, doing that white and gold on black thing that I did with you guys the other day. I was quick to wash it out, but not quick enough. So like the green, the blue is not very intense when applied with a brush. Uh, if you want to build up color, you're probably going to have to go over it a couple of times after it's dry. So with these inks, unless you want a paler color, you need to make sure you get all of the water out of your brush. that it's just ink in it and once you have your outlines drawn it's actually a really soothing activity I can imagine that calligraphy would be very soothing as well oh kitty cat found a bug so the paper in this Strathmore watercolor sketchbook is it's um a little bit rougher than they, what I'm used to with their cold press, which is fine because I always thought their cold press was a little too smooth for my taste. Um, and so far it's taking the ink really well. Um, when I was inking that little Chibi Kara I showed you guys in my sketchbook tour, I took the ink from that pretty well too. I haven't done actual watercolor on it just yet but hopefully it is pretty good. I think this size would be a really good size for field sketches. And unlike moleskins where you kind of have to rely on that elastic band to keep your, your sketchbook in place, I actually use two bulldog clips because it's just not enough. You can fold these pages back on themselves so they're not in the way when you're trying to use a fresh page. My only problem is the spirals definitely get in the way of me inking, but it is a spiral bound notebook, so that is something that I should have been aware of. I was aware of it when I bought it. 
it's not fair of me to complain about the spirals. So after these last two flowers, I just have the insides of um, the daisies to paint and then if I so desire, I can go back and darken some of the areas, like um, maybe some of the leaves, to, just to imply some depth. Or I could leave it very flat and graphic like this. It's really a matter of taste. I'll probably darken some of the leaves up though, because I don't know when to leave well enough alone. I'm turning the notebook as I go to find the most comfortable angle for inking. Which is why the spirals kind of get in the way. Ugh, really need to replace, get a different brush. And I think I'm going to let this ink dry for 24 hours before I try to erase the pencils, just to let it cure. Alright, so that's the blue, and um, I have to let the blue finish drying before I can add the yellow, so I think I might go back with the green and just touch it up in areas where I wasn't 100% sure where the flower was going to hit. that in a little bit because it felt kind of empty. Maybe one there. All right, looking pretty good so far. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and do the yellow on the insides of the daisies. All right, so the blue is nice and dry. And now it's time to add the yellow centers of the daisies. This is a very warm, bright yellow, canary yellow. I can even see the droplet uh, affecting the light on my table as I put it on the paper and it looks really pretty like that as the light shines through. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I ought to just color in the centers? Sure, why not? That looks better anyway. Let me zoom in since I'm working with such a light color. I really hope the eraser erases cleanly, or I'm sorry, the pencil erases cleanly, because I like this. This is cute. You know, it's very simple to do. Alright, so that's the yellow. And I think I'm going to go back with the green, like we had talked about, and just sort of darken some of the areas up a little bit. And then we'll be done, except for erasing, which I am not going to do on camera, I don't think. Not today, at least. So putting another layer over the green doesn't really substantially darken the color. I was hoping it would look more like that. Oh, you can't see that leaf because I'm too pulled in. Alright, this one is like substantially darker than all the other ones. I was hoping putting additional layers would 
give me a result like that instead of a very pale, almost non visible layer of slightly darker green. I could probably do it with a Copic or a watercolor, but I feel like at this point that kind of defeats the purpose of having these colored inks if I'm just going to go reach for the things I always reach for. So what do you guys like to draw with? Leave me a comment and tell me. Maybe I'll find a new favorite. So just kind of fussing about with certain lines, but it's basically done. So that was me inking with Windsor & Newton um, water-based colored inks using a brush. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this inspires you. If you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Have a good day, guys. Bye.